Welcome everybody to another episode of Flipside Drawings. Alright guys, this week we're going to be doing another uh, folded up picture. It's going to look pretty sweet. Uh, so what I want you to do is take your paper like this and you're going to fold it in half, okay? We're folding our picture in half. Nice. And you're going to take your picture, open it up, and you're going to fold into the center this time. Now take your picture and flip it all the way over and on the what was the original center line I want you to fold it the other way. Okay. So when you're done your picture should open up just like this. Okay. What we're going to start with is start in the bottom corner over here. You're going to do a loop almost all the way up to the top and then you're going to come back down the top of this fold here. So don't go onto this side of the page, just stay on on the lower half. Next we're going to draw this is our little mountain over here, a little hill. We're going to draw some clouds up here, okay? So just do some nice looping lines like this cloud there, big cloud over here as well, and we'll even draw some, some birds in. So you can draw birds by doing little V's like that. Nice. Awesome. Uh, we'll also start over in this little corner here. I want you to draw two straight lines up and then do some more loops. This is going to be a tree that we're making. This tree can go on to the the upper piece of paper. So you can keep it just like that and there we go. We got our tree, we've got some clouds, we've got our birds. Awesome. Now we're going to add in a little bit. Come down to about the center of the picture and you're going to draw kind of a sideways C. From the C you're going to bring out some lines like this. Now you're going to start over here, bring it down, and then over here you're going to bring it down as well, same thing, but not all the way to the bottom. Just beside there I want you to draw a line up, and then one over here like this. Okay. This is somebody's, the back of their head, so you can draw in some, some wavy lines. Now we're going to draw them pointing at something, so draw a little curve like that. And a straight line for their pointer finger and then a couple of smaller curved lines makes off their hand. Here we go. So we've got person one done. Next we're going to come over beside that person. You're going to draw a little bit of a, a loop like this. Draw an arc over here. Come down, over, into there. Nice. We just drew somebody's hat. Now we're going to finish off their face. So their face is looking up. Give them a little bit of a nose. And this person is super excited. So give them a big old smile like that. And then bring their head in like that. Got to see what they're looking at. So give them an eye. And it's important to hear, so we'll give them an ear as well. So we've got that. We're going to draw a little bit of a line here for their neck. And then we're going to have their shoulder come in. There we go. We've got person number two drawn. Now we're going to come across to the other side, and we're going to start the same way. So we're going to start with the loop like this. We're going to make head come down like this. Uh, now we're going to come down similar to the way we started before. Give him a little bit of a nose. Now this guy, this guy's got a beard. So start with a little loop like that. Come back here, down, over, and up. And give him some hair as well. 
finish off the line he's also going to be smiling so draw these lines like this he's looking up you got to give him an ear as well so give him a little ear there and we need his body so we'll draw a little bit of a neck here there he is so we've got our two guys and our lady pointing up in the middle. Now, we they're obviously looking at something. Not quite there yet. We're going to draw two smaller people. This is not going to be quite as detailed, but you do a little tiny loop here, a little tiny top, and we'll give them some hair. And then I want you to draw it down like this, like this, finish off, and we'll give them some arms. There we go. So yeah, a person standing there, they got a little sash over here, so it makes them look classy. Same on the other side, we'll draw another person. This one won't have a hat, it'll just be the hair. And I'll have a little sash here like this, a shoulder. So like this, and there you go. We've got some people and they're obviously looking at something. What are they looking at? That's what we're about to figure out. So I want you guys to take your picture now and open it up all the way. All right, next we, we've got to finish off our little tree here. So where the lines were missing, add in some lines to, to finish off the top of your tree. Up here we've got the cloud. We're going to add some more stuff to this cloud. Now. Right about here, look at where, where that line was where you cut the cloud off earlier. We're going to go over to that in the middle and then we're going to go down just a little bit and we're going to start with a wavy line like this. And then another one on the other side. Do some wavy lines like that. Now, right now, we're drawing Jesus. He's going to have his eyes closed, nose, got to give him his beard. And Jesus is smiling. So we'll come there like that. So we've got Jesus, his head floating there. Now we've got to add in the rest of his body. So I'm going to just put a line straight out like this, give a little bit of a curve up, and then a long curve down. And we'll do the mirror on the other side. So line out like this, get a little curve up, big curve down. So it should be about the same on both sides. Bring it up into here, and same down to there. And give Jesus a sash as well. And draw the rest of his body. So come down with some lines like this. And then we're going to draw a little wave across there. Nice. And his feet. Can't forget his feet. Now, this is the part that I'm always really bad at. We'll try and draw Jesus' hands. So we'll bring a little thumb up here. Give him his fingers. And back in. Now, it's Jesus, so he's got to have the nail holes in his feet and the nail hole in his hand. Bring this over to the other side. See if we can do a decent hand again. And we'll put a nail hole right there. So this is after Jesus was on the cross. This is after his resurrection. This is when there was 500 people that were, were hanging out with Jesus one day. And he gave his last talk to them. And then he went up to meet his father in heaven. So all these people are, are watching as Jesus is heading up into heaven. It's a beautiful story. You can uh, add a few more details in if you want to add some more birds over here. Add some more clouds. Another cloud over here. And there we have, we have Jesus rising up to heaven. 
I hope you guys enjoy this uh, drawing. And I would love to see a copy of what you guys did. So if you if you drew this, uh, please post online what you guys drew, and we'd uh, we'd love to see it. All right. So enjoy your pictures. We've got disciples and the the crowd of people watching, and they're pointing to something amazing happening, and it is Jesus rising up to heaven. Enjoy, guys.